What's good guys, hopefully you can hear me today. I wanted to change some things up. I also want to make this a little more realistic. So right now, I'm at Lake Michigan. Absolutely beautiful. You already know. Don't really know what it's like to have that salt water life growing up in fresh water in my whole life, so. Just some guest appearances. Cute little doggos there. What I wanted to talk to you guys today about is so many people ask this, right? So many people say, you know, you have your mission and your purpose. Your purpose, well, we all have a very similar purpose, right? And that similarity is to help each other out, to help each other out one-on-one, -on -one. to contribute to the world. What are we doing for society that we are all sharing in the same moment and time frame, right? What are we doing to give back to others? How are we helping them? And so, today I will be talking to you specifically though about the mission. And there's a lot of dudes that don't really know what they're doing in their life. They don't know what their mission is. And so I want to clarify that, but this is also for the ladies. I just find it's a very hot topic for the men specifically because they think they know what they're doing. But then they complain and moan when things don't go their way later on in life. And they wonder why that is. So, like always, if you hop on my channel, I call you out for accountability and we don't have any more of those issues. Just saying hi. Like I've said before, the people that are watching my channel want to grow. The people that are watching my channel want to help themselves. I can honestly say that till I'm blue in the face, but I don't really, I don't really feel like it. And I'm just, by now if you guys don't know, I'm not a person that beats around the bush, right? I get straight to the point. Why would I waste my time and my own energy on trivial things that you already know the answer to? So number one today that I'm bringing you, number one is I want you to visualize, right? I want you to think back to a time when you were, I don't know, probably a toddler and you wanted to be something and you're trying to figure out what that career was. You're like, you know, I could be this, I could be this. Maybe it was a firefighter, maybe it was a doctor, maybe it was a lawyer. But what was that? What was that thing before people started taking your shine away? What was that thing, that career, that job that you were so passionate about and, and wanted to emphasize and you felt like you had this belonging in? Or maybe it wasn't even that deep, right? Maybe it was just you saw Rocky on the TV during the 80s and you're like, oh yeah, I want to become a boxer. You know, I want to run out to, I want to run around and have Eye of the Tiger playing in the background. You know, maybe that was your thing. But just, I want you to take a second and to think about that one career, that one job. And I'll give it a little pause right here. I'm glad you're back and now I want you to think of what that is devoid of what anybody ever told you right parents teachers grandparents people that you held in such a high self-esteem and high regard for their opinions I want you to take that away take away what they told you what they wanted you to do and specifically take a look introspectively into your mind what that was before anybody commented, before anybody gave their opinion and their remarks 
on what you should do on your own life. Good, now that you got it, let's move on to number two. Number two is simply this. I want you to take a full mental inventory into the characteristics that you possess, right? Your giftings and your qualities. Now naturally, sometimes I like to go to the uh, local country club, per se. I think that's what it's called. And they have karaoke night. And I'm going to be honest with you. If you are not gifted as a singer for the love of God, please do not get up on the stage and sing. And I know, and it's crazy, right? Because it's almost like, it's almost like alcohol is involved. It's funny how that works. I'm just messing with you guys, but seriously, for those of you who have a gifting, right? Maybe it was working with tools. Maybe your gifting was working with wood. Maybe your gifting was building things. Maybe your gifting was painting art, art, you know? You were specifically given that gifting. And are you guys ready for this? You were specifically given that gifting by God, whether you believe in Him or not, to share with the world, to share with this universe, to share with others, to contribute to something beyond just your own selfish ambition. Here we go. The mission is our selfish ambition, right? Versus an ordained purpose of why we're here. Okay? So take a true inventory of your strengths and your giftings that you possess. I'm gonna circle back here. I think I did like... Yeah, we've been walking a bit. We've been walking a bit. So what that is, it's your own worldly ambition versus an ordained mission. Your ordained mission is the things that come first in this life, right? The thing that you're here to do. Too many people lost and don't know that they have a cause. I mean, there's so many people. There's so many people out there that have zero idea of what they want to do in life. I know people, and this, bro, it makes me sad. I know people that have literally taken their life because they didn't think they had a purpose on this earth, right? And that's this lie that's perpetuated. It's a big old fat lie. I want you to see this real quick. See this water. It's vast. It's beautiful. There's so much of this earth to explore. I can't wait to explore all of it. And if I die beforehand, so be it. But I'm gonna explore as much as I possibly can on this earth, in this world. And I'm gonna move, right? My videos aren't just for you guys because they're gonna expand. Because I know 100% without a doubt, I'm gonna be teaching conventions. I'm going to be teaching classes. I'm going to be giving out courses. I did not go through all the turmoil that I did in my childhood and in my life just to work at McDonald's flipping burgers, all right? And I want to talk about that too. Something that I realized is that we have And something that I realize is that we have all these jobs. Some of you have worked so many jobs. Y'all might not know this, but I've worked, this is my 23rd job now. Now two, I made some bad decisions, right? I got laid off from. Because of my choices of immaturity at a young age. But all the other jobs I learned something from. But I'm sharing this because a lot of you guys think that if I'm gonna do this, now, it must be my lot in life. And I couldn't say anything more than that being the complete opposite, right? I started out, my first job was literally delivering newspapers. You, did you really think to myself, I thought, at the age of 13, 
Wow, 10 cents a newspaper. I can't wait to retire off 10 cents a newspaper doing four routes in my life. Absolutely freaking not. That was just a stepping stone. And a lot of you guys think that this is the end all be all. You are limitless. You are absolutely limitless. And with God on my side, I'm practically invincible. Okay? No good thing does He withhold from those who walk uprightly. And so I just share this with you today because if some of you are depressed or in turmoil about the, the jobs and the decisions that you choose, man, there's a whole nother life out there. It's just a stepping stone. Embrace the season. It's just a stepping stone. Embrace the season. It's just a stepping stone, baby. Number three, and I'm glad you asked. Number three, and I've, I've learned this even from doing these videos, man, you learn who people are real quick. Become aware of your surroundings. What do I mean by that? Hmm? What do I mean by that? If you are experiencing heavy resistance, if you are experiencing the turmoil and it feels like the gates of hell are breaking open, my friend, you're doing it. You're doing your mission. You're doing it right. Don't let those, don't let anybody hold you back. Don't let your ambitions, don't let what other people think of you, don't let validation, don't let situations, don't let circumstances define what you do in your life because you're here for a reason. You're here for a purpose. And when you feel that resistance, I just embrace it. So when I was studying philosophy, there's, there's two schools of thought. You have existentialists and nihilists. A nihilist example would be Nietzsche. He basically assumed that God didn't exist, actually that God was dead. And nihilism's basically, we don't really have a purpose in life, right? We kind of just exist. Existentialists kind of make fun of that fact. Similar views, but we rebel against the fact that we're not here for a reason. The bottom line is the same. If you live your life thinking there's nothing out there, right, but death, you eat, sleep, and die, as the motto is, you're already putting yourself in a hole. You're putting yourself in this box. For the people who I consider to be limitless, they do not put themselves in a box. For people who I consider to be limitless, they do not put themselves in a box. They don't let situations define them. They don't let conflicts engage who they are. And so when you are feeling that resistance, I want you to press in. I want you to press in even further because you have lions and you have sheep. Lions stand up for what they believe in. Lions protect those they care about. And lions have no regard for others' opinions that do not matter. Sheep worry about what other people think. Sheep worry about being protected. Sheep worry about where the next food's gonna come from on their table. Sheep follow the crowd. If you wanna be limitless, if you wanna find your mission in life, be polarizing. Be intense. Be engaging. Do what you love in this life, right? Do what you love in this life. And don't let anybody dull your shine. Now, if you excuse me, I'm gonna go dip my toes in the water. It's probably freezing cold. But you gotta experience everything life has to offer, right? I also encourage you guys to do cold plunges. Great for your nervous system. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. I will drop the link below for the camp that I will be attending in uh, Florida to help mentor others. If you feel like contributing, bless you. There's two donation links. One is for the raffle. You enter some money, you join the raffle. The other donation link is a general donation. I love you guys and stay frosty.